And our theme is a closer walk with God. God desires that we fellowship with him. The Bible says that Abraham walked with God. Enoch walked with God. God wants people to walk with him. Noah walked with God. He wants us to have fellowship. He wants us to walk with him. We need to draw near by ourselves to God. We need to desire to be with him. Because that is also his desire. So you have to move towards him and then he will move towards you. So we talk about table one. The first category is the category of commitment. The category of the committed ones. Those ones are the ones that are born again and spirit filled. They are fully committed to God and his church. They see things through the eyes of the spirit. Category two. This is the category of conflict and compromise. They are born again, but they are at conflict. They are trying to please the world and please the Lord at the same time. You may be a pastor. They may be workers in church. They may have been in church for years and years and years. They love the Lord. But they live a compartmentalized life. There is the church attitude. There is the attitude in the workplace. There is the attitude when they go to their village. There is the attitude when they are abroad. They're not willing to give up the things that make them what they think they are. They make excuses. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, God is looking at my heart. He's not looking at what I'm wearing. They explain scriptures to suit their own shortcomings. Today they are hot for God. Tomorrow they are cold. Category three. This is the category of carnality and complacency. These ones are not born again. They are unregenerated. Even if they find themselves in, in, in church, for, they've been here, but they have just refused to give their life to Christ. They have refused to be regenerated. Some of them were born again before. They are, they are backsliding. And those ones are in a worse place because they think they know it all. And now they are backsliding. They just come to church as a social thing. But they are unregenerated. So what are those things that we can do to move from one table to the other? We must commit to working with God. And that commitment is a personal thing. It's a decision that you have to reach by yourself. You submit to God in all things. Do things not because you want to do them, but because that's what God wants you to do. We develop a devotional lifestyle by building a strong and consistent prayer and meditation pattern. We have been talking about prayer, prayer, prayer here. You have to develop that life of devotion. You study the word. You meditate on it. You understand the mind of God. You live and you practice the word. Once you practice the word and you look up to him more, the more you look up to him, the more carnal things take second place in your life. Take no place in your life, in fact. Of course, we learn to listen to God. Receive instructions for him for your daily life. That's how to walk closer with God. You, you don't make decisions on your own. You ask him, Lord, would you have me do this? And when the Lord tells you, you are willing to obey. That's the next one. When the Lord says to you, this is what I will have you to do. You will not start arguing. You will not say, it's not the, word, it's not the Lord that I heard. It can't be the one. If you follow your flesh, if you follow your emotions, you can't obey God. Emotions will tell you you are angry. Emotions will tell you you are bitter. Emotions will tell you that you are right. So the things that you are doing, that you are telling yourself, it's okay. Somehow, somehow, God understands. He doesn't understand. When you're moving closer to God in your relationship with him as you're going, he will prune you. That's what God will do to you as you're moving closer. It's going to be uncomfortable as you pray today, but you're going to ask him, Lord, have your way. Help me. I can't do this on my own. Prune me. Pull out those things you will have me. And please, when the Lord is pulling them, allow him to pull them. You have been estranged from your spouse. And you tell yourself, I can never apologize. Or you tell yourself, I can never forgive. But you come here, you worship, you weep. We raise holy hands. We look at God. And you walk out the door. And you tell yourself, Lord, I just can't. Lord God understands. He doesn't understand. This walk is a daily thing. Please be encouraged. Be careful of the things that drain you. Be careful of the things that cut you off. What are those things today? I want us to start thinking about it. What are the things that are taking preeminence in your life? 
What are the things that are making it impossible for you to walk closer with God? He's telling you this morning to examine yourself. He's telling you this morning that you should look up to him. He's telling you this morning that he can help you. He's here for you. It's never too late. As long as you're alive, there is always a time for a turnaround. I want you to ask the Lord this morning. Father, I am tired of this table. I'm tired of being here. I'm tired of emotions. I'm tired of conflict. Father, help me this morning. Father, give me the grace to move tables this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give me the grace to have a closer walk with you. Father, give me the grace to be on table one. The table of no compromise. The table of commitment. Father, this morning, help me to move tables. My King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I have heard your word this morning. Every limitation. Every drawback. That is holding me. From being in my rightful place. From walking with you. Father, I commit them to you this morning. Father, make a way for me. Ask the Lord to make a way for you. The Lord will do it for you. It's not too hard. He said, is there anything too hard for me to do? There is nothing that's too hard for God to do. Ask him this morning. Commit yourself to him and he will surely help you. Thank you, my Father and my God.